Hello, DDP students, and welcome to our next tutorial where we are going to be creating um, another component for our Carabiner Shuttle Pen Assembly. This is going to be an ink cartridge separator, and the purpose of this is that the Shuttle Pen has four different ink cartridges. Um, this is going to hold them in place. Um, the ink cartridges are different colors, and this keeps them separated and held in place. So let's get to it. We're going to be creating a new design. And as always, we're going to be starting by creating a new component. We're going to be calling this ink cart cartridge. Let me spell it right. Cartridge separator. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna create a sketch. We're gonna choose, okay, if you are isometric like this, we're gonna choose this face here, which should give you the top face right here. And we're gonna get started by um, choosing our center diameter circle. We're gonna drag from the origin point and we're gonna give it a diameter of 0.545. Okay, we're already zoomed in, all right? But if you're not, this is gonna be a very small circle. So you wanna zoom way in, okay? If it um, is too small to see. So what we're gonna be doing is we are now going to be making a construction line. So we're gonna go from the origin point to the top. Okay, we're gonna activate our line. We're going to then choose construction, or we could hit X, okay? X will activate the construction line. Um, we're now going to click off that, activate line again. I'm gonna zoom way in. We're going to create an angled line from there to the center line, and then another one over here. Great. So now we're gonna add a few dimensions. We're going to hit D to activate that. We're gonna go from our center line here. We're gonna give that a 45 degree angle and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Five. We're now gonna dimension from the top, the bottom of this. We're gonna give it a 0 0.035. Okay, and that's just gonna be a little cutout notch there, all right? And once we have that, we're gonna go to circular patterning, okay? The objects we want are these two lines of the triangle. We're going to switch to center point, choose your center point. And this is gonna give us three, but we want four. So that is looking good. We're gonna hit finish, extrude, we're gonna choose the face, but not the cutout. And we are going to extrude this, turn this to the side so we can see this a little more. And we're going to give this a 0.3. All right. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna activate our shell, go to the bottom, and this is gonna be shelled 0.035. Okay, we're now going to create a new sketch on our top face, all right? We're gonna activate our line tool and we're gonna go from the origin point, straight horizontal. I'm gonna activate this line, make it a construction line. I'm now going to create another line. I'll make it a construction line as well. And I'm gonna have this going diagonal so it's more of a 45 degree angle. That's looking good. I'm going to add, I'm gonna activate my dimensioning tool and I'm going to dimension these two lines. So they're a 45 degree angle, all right? I'm now going to go to create and I'm gonna to go to point. And somewhere along this line here, maybe around the center between here and here, we're just gonna estimate, we're gonna add a point Hit OK, and we are now going to dimension this to this. Okay, so we're going to hit D to activate our dimensioning tool. 
And we are going to dimension this, okay, from here to here. But before we do that, okay, we're going to right click. We're going to go to aligned, okay, and now we're going to set it at 0.15, okay, it's looking good. And what we're going to do now is we are going to go back to circular patterning. We're going to choose the object that we want is just this one point. The center point here, we're going to select center point and the center point. And this is going to give us three, but we want four. And we're going to hit finish sketch. All right. From here, we're going to activate our whole function. We're going to choose these four. Okay. We'll just leave the distance to two. Let's see, Let's see what happens when we do all. Okay, all. Actually, let's just keep the distance as it is. All right. Um, and we want everything to be just how it is. Um, this is simple. This is simple. And then we want an angled um, bottom. For the diameter of this here, we're going to replace this with. 0.130, okay, we're gonna hit okay. And this is what we have so far. So now all we need to do is assign some physical materials and some color by right-clicking on the component, physical material. And we're gonna stay with plastic, okay? So we're gonna go and just find regular plastic. Here we are. Hit enter to set that. I'm going to go right click on this again. Go to appearance. We're going to stay with our paint, but we want to find black. All right. Hit enter to save that. And here we have our ink cartridge separator. All right, so save that. Call it ink cartridge separator. All right, great. And I'm gonna see you at the next tutorial where we're going to be making the plastic barrel and the ballpoint end for our ink cartridge. So I will see you then.